Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some of my favorite resistance band squat exercises using 41 inch loop style resistance bands and one of my favorite tools to make squats more comfortable, the clench fitness foot plate. All right, the first exercise is the most basic where it's gonna be front squats. We're gonna be using a 41 inch resistance band here and with these clench bands, we have bands that go from zero all the way up to three, 400 pounds worth of resistance and they're nice big wide bands so we can get them comfortable. And then we're also using the clench foot plate here. So to set this up, we're gonna grab our foot plate, grab our band, loop the band into the center channel here, the foot plate, get our stance, you know, roughly shoulder width here. And then you're gonna drop down into a deep squat position and get this band looped up right onto our shoulders, just like you'd be loading it up with a barbell and then we're squatting up into it, pulling our core in tight, nice and low. And this is a great exercise to focus on that anterior chain and the front, working on the quads. Just wrapping it out. So the next squat exercise, we call it the X-band squat with the foot plate. Uh, there's a few different ways you can set this up. My favorite way is to grab a pair of 41 inch bands and then I loop both of them into the center channel here and then set it down. And this way, when I set this up, the bands come right down into between my legs so that they're not getting into my knees. And then to set this up, we're gonna do one band at a time. So we load one shoulder up and then we load the other shoulder up and then we stand up, get ourselves nice and centered here, everything nice and comfortable. And then we're doing squats. So these you can go quite a bit heavier with. The foot plate keeps the bands out of your legs so that you can focus on going heavy and staying comfortable and getting good squat form. And now if you're taller, you may wanna use the outer channels and then you can either put one band on the left side and the right side, or you can cross them over in the center to make an X. So there's a few different ways that you can set this up. Next exercise is a goblet squat. So to set this up, we're gonna use a single 41 inch band and a clench band handle. And then to keep the band out of your legs, we're gonna use this center handle here. We're gonna loop the band through and fold it in half. So now when it's folded in half, it's gonna put out twice the resistance that it normally would, but you can only stretch it half as far. And to set this up the rest of the way, we're gonna pop our clench band handle in here, wrap each half right around the handle neck as shown, and then you're gonna get your shoulder width stance, and then you drop down, grab your goblet, and then squat it up. This is a great way it's basically very similar to a front squat, except now we're holding the weight here with our arms instead of our shoulders. <sighs> Feels really good because the bands are not in contact with my legs at all. So I could go nice and heavy here <sighs> and do these squats. Another way that you can set this up if you're really tall and you feel like folding it in half is overstretching it. So all you have to do is loop through one side of the handle here and do a slip knot. And then just loop your band right around the bottom side and through the other handle so that it comes up in the same spot as before. And now you're gonna have a little bit more length to work to play with and you can stretch the band a lot further. So you might have to bump up to a heavier band, but if you're really tall, this is a great way to set up that goblet squat the same way. Last exercise is going to be a resistance band split squat. So this is a unilateral exercise, basically like a lunge, except we're not lunging back. It's just gonna be split leg. Grab your 41 inch band. I like to put it on the center channel of the foot plate. That way I can step my foot to be right centered on the band. And then I'm gonna drop my other foot back then we're gonna get down into our lunge position here, wrap the band up, 
over our shoulders, just like the front squat. And then stand up and squat. So your back leg should be back far enough to allow you to get down into your lunge position and your knee should just barely touch that floor. Don't ram it into the floor. Just nice and controlled. Ooh, big squeeze at the top with your left, with your active leg. And then it's really easy to switch sides with the foot plate. Switch sides. And we're into that other leg. These are great because you can really just grind them out. Focus on burn that quad out. You're gonna get a lot more balance. Stabilizer muscles activated as well as the glutes. And it's just a great exercise. All right, so those are the four exercises that I'm gonna go through today. Obviously, there is a lot more banded squat and leg exercises that you can do with these bands and this foot plate. So if you wanna see more, be sure to click on the on-screen video links. We have tons of videos on our channel with exercises just like this that you can do at home or wherever you're at. Also, if you like what you saw today, be sure to smash that like button. Drop in the comments what exercise was your favorite. And as always, if you need any of the bands and accessories shown, head over to clenchfitness.com and thank you for watching.